So we are playing Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast. It was a game made in 2002 and to my knowledge oh hello there Mr. Trandosian that's not nice all right so I had this game back then 2002 I had it on the GameCube it also was on the um, PS2 and the original Xbox. Now, unlike those, this one does not have the it doesn't have the um, the multiplayer battle arena, which was really immersive because you could you could do a free for all or a team match against bots and it would just encompass everything all the sith abilities or dark jedi as they called it back then the whole sith thing is uh my opinion a relatively new term and the reason i say that is because From my experience in the games, the whole Sith thing didn't really come about until Episode 1, The Phantom Menace. Because with all the games prior to that movie, it was all Dark Jedi. Dark Jedi this, Dark Jedi that. Come on, little trash can. So this would take place after Return of the Jedi, and I'm not sure how far, maybe 10 years I would say, it's when Luke started doing his own academies, which I believe now that Disney bought everything, the um, canon and Legends continuity, it's all wonky. Yeah, Wonka Moogie Ryle. Okay. Come on. So, like I said, this is supposed to be after Battle of Endor. When the second Death Star got destroyed. Funny thing. I'll make it a little more quiet in here and I'll tell you. Trying to talk over blaster fire. Hey, cloud car. Okay. So, the Death Stars were actually built to fight the Usen Vong invasion, which would have happened about 50 years after the destruction of the second Death Star. In Attack of the Clones, you see the Death Star plans being built. That's because Emperor Palpatine, or his first name, Sheev, foresaw the invasion of the Usen Vong about 50 years after the Battle of Yavin where the first Death Star was destroyed which would be about 19 years after the Clone Wars <clears throat> so if you have no idea who the Usen Vong are please go ahead and go on YouTube look up some videos and you'll see how serious it was to build those Death Stars to try and fight off the Usen Vong now they are from another galaxy not the uh, star galaxy that has all the planets from Star Wars. Um, some of the outer, outer rim 
territories, the unknown regions, where you have the Chiss, the blue-skinned people with the red eyes. They have had minor incursions, encounters, and with the Usen Vong. So, the ignorant Rebel Alliance, which I see are just anarchists and terrorists, destroyed both Death Stars. Foolishly and ignorantly, not realizing, they destroyed the two things that would have greatly assisted in pushing back the Usen Vong invasion of the Star Galaxy and possibly not allowing them to conquer as many worlds as they did. All right, let's continue playing. I like cloud cars. So this is Bespin and it is Bespin Streets, one of my favorite levels of this game. Huh, who said that? Oh, Dark Jedi. Oh, I'm sorry, he's a Sith. Yeah, no. Like I said, that term wasn't used, to my knowledge, since episode one. Are you now? We've got teams trying to take back this sector of the city, but it's no small task. The place is swarming with reloads of thugs. Our men will help you wherever they can. Good luck. Thanks. You too. Now you can kill these guys. Hey, checkpoint reached. Damn Rodian. Weequay. Oh, it's Trandosian. Okay, you see his arm is cut off? That tells you this is a pre-Disney game. Because when Disney took over, they no longer allowed you to do stuff like that. It's not friendly. I believe the last game to allow that to happen was Uh, Force Unleashed. I believe that was one of the last games that was per was uh, developed before the purchase of Star Wars by Disney. Oh man. You can also tell this is an old game for the fact that you can only shoot in what is considered hip firing. There's no aiming where you can aim down your sights. But it was still fun back then. Oh man. This is my second favorite gun in the game. Little known fact, if you guys play um, Battlefront 2, this is the weapon Iden Versio uses. And you can also acquire it when you play the campaign 
on the level where you have to escape the Imperial base and you realize you don't want to be part of the Empire anymore. Come here, we quay. All right. Wookie Bowcaster. Oh, thank you. You're a gentleman and a scholar. One before the other, right? Well, look at it bounce back and forth. That's kind of cool. Okay. Oh. Now, I got my favorite weapon in the game. <clears throat> Die, Rodian. So this was one of the few guns <laughs> that actually zoomed. Look at those cloud cars. Bespin. I just wish this was a little more immersive where it would be considered more open play in today's world where you could explore and go on those other ledges maybe have doors open up even if they don't really lead to anything great just the fact that you can go into them is what I think would be really neat Fill that. There we go. Oh, oops, didn't mean to get him. That could have been really bad. Now what I find is neat is we were down there. We went back through there, got on all these ledges. So the game is a little more immersive than others of its time. Like I want to go back there and see what's back there. Get on top there or something. So close to accidentally killing those guys. Die, we quay. Who's sniping me? Oh, wow. It would be a Rodian. Got him. All right, let's see what he was guarding over here. Ah, ammo. Awesome. What are we looking at still? Okay, I'm just going to pause briefly. I want to ask you all a question. And you could 
drop it in the comments when I upload the video. Is it just me, or does it look like the clouds are sort of moving? If you just look at the edge of the round top of the building, just just stare not at either or, just stare. To me it looks like it's moving. Anyways, back to the game. That's death. Don't go down there. Oh, shit. Um... Oh, I see. Okay. <coughs> when the music changes like that, that means it's ouch time. And you can hear the detonators. See that guy? I... Uh, I forget his name of his race. I think it's a Jin or the Kryn or something odd like that. They colonize Malastare. They live on Malastare. Whoa! But so do the Dugs, the Bulbous race. Malastare has a dual sentient thing going on. There's that, get those. Get that. All right. I still don't understand. Oh, now I do. Oh. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna cheat. Uh, uh. I just didn't want to fight them. Is that so wrong of me? Let's check their bodies, though. Hey, where'd the other guy go? Watch, I may have screwed that up. Locked. Locked. Anything over here? Ah, platform. <coughs> Whoa. Okay. Oh, shit.
let's see. Yeah, stormtroopers. Let's refill that ammo counter. Oops. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. to go up there. Well, let me check this real quick so I don't make any fatal errors. Awesome. 